Bruce, you are a planetary scientist who has studied at least uh, one and a half planets, or one and a part of another planet, the Earth and part of Mars. And from your knowledge and experience, uh, what can you tell us about the universe? There's a, there's a big um, controversy uh, about people who say that maybe the universe has something built into it that it must bring forth life, that the laws of the universe that create uh, galaxies and planets and, and chemicals and evolution are engendering in, in life, can engender life. And it's very controversial. Uh, what, what can you say from your perspective as a geologist? And a well, my perspective as a geologist and, and a planetary scientist and my experience in science is I'm very suspicious of hard generalizations. I'm an empiricist. I see a lot of observations, and I find my ideas being changed by new observations. And I've come to accept that as a way of life. And I suspect that it's going to last for a long time. I think we, as humans, can comprehend very little of what this complex, interesting universe is doing. I wish I could live a thousand years from now and see what we've learned, and, or 10,000, but I happen to be one of the primitives of this society, and that's okay. <laughs> but uh, how do you lean? Uh, you know, on, on one side, people say the universe is totally random and that uh, life is, is just capricious and uh, the fact that it occurred may never happen again, but there's so much going on that happens someplace. Others say that, no, there's something very unusual about the universe, that it is designed in a way that its random rules of necessity will bring forth life. I'm not enough of a speculator to embrace that latter idea that is built in. Uh, and again, it's, it's very uninteresting answers, but I, I deal with what I see. I'm a geologist. You know, think of me with a pick out there. <laughs> and, um, and it's hard for me to go a lot further than that. And so if you don't have evidence for it, it's interesting. I read a lot of science fiction. <laughs> I read a lot of science. But what I, what I believe is what I can observe. And I'm afraid that's where it gets back to. And these things are not observable. So they're interesting and they're important. It's good to have opinions. You know, you, we're all mortal. We have to face the end of our life. And so you construct something that helps you put that in some kind of perspective. But I can't develop a scientific rationale for these things. <laughs>